good evening. This is Pontifex, the Sepulchre. Coming to you from underneath the bridge. Next to the dam. It's an interesting story as to how I got here. But it's one that we'll have to wait for another day. Because I have something more pressing to talk about. When I was a child, I lived across the street from a boy who was some years older than me. He was in high school while I was in elementary school. And for four years, he played the tuba. Every day he practiced. And he was god fucking awful at it. And by the end of his time playing the tuba, which corresponded with the years he spent in high school, he could just barely eke out the song Misty Watercolored Memories by Barbara Streisand. Memory is a very important thing. And it's a very intricate, complicated thing. It seems simple, but it's not. Because, as many have stated, as everyone knows, the mind is not a tape loop. You don't just capture moments as they pass and then they're preserved there and you can watch them exactly as they happen. And we adjust the past to fit the present. We make connections based on things which are relevant to us right now between disparate events in the past. And we make them seem much closer together than they were. We make mountains out of molehills and reduce mountains to dust based on the needs of the now. We change the past as we go into the future. So that we don't ever really have an accurate rendition of the past. And as the past only exists as a factor of the present, the past in many ways changes just as our lives continue to. Now speaking of changes, Another thing that I noticed is that I, as I've grown older, time is flat. Like, for example, when I was a youth, entire world-changing sagas and cycles of stories seem to stretch for eons. Actually, took place within the span of a couple. Of Retrospect to be huge chunks of time, huge parts of my own personal myth were actually quite brief. And the years since then have become diminished in a way. Less sticks out from the landscape. There's less concrete there that I can distinguish one day begins to resemble another. During one of those days, we took the long ride to poison control. My father was a difficult man. He was volatile and temperamental. And he had a very bad alcohol problem, so bad that it wound up killing him. Technically, he died of sepsis. But the reason he died of sepsis was because of his health was so compromised from years of hard drinking that he couldn't fight off any infections. His kidneys failed, and then he died. Now, we fought like dogs while he was alive. 
But the reason we did was because we were actually very similar. Now, I wouldn't have admitted it while we were still alive, but we were. There was echoes between us, a sort of resonance between our lives. Like we were both moons in orbit of the same planet, sharing each other's gravity. And many moments in time seem to share gravity so that there's echoes and links between things that are far removed from each other. And that's perhaps influenced by our memory and perhaps by the sort of memory of the world. So that as we continue to adjust the present to fit the past and adjust the past to fit the present, and bull shape the future. There's sort of moments that just cut through all of that and establish themselves sort of as one, even across space and time. I don't know exactly how to explain this, but I remember them. I remember them very clearly. But maybe I didn't know at the time. Maybe I don't know now. Maybe I just think I know. But I remember. Do you? I bet you do. Try to. This is Pontifex. Except.